Now, this lesson is probably going to be one of the longest lessons in this whole course, but it is very, very important that we break down all these internal signals so that you can try to avoid them by all means, as this is very crucial in becoming a profitable trader. Let's get straight into it. Now, what you got to understand is that emotions give birth to buy and sell signals that are not proven and often are unprofitable either. One of the triggers of internal signals is pride. Pride is what makes people hold what they thought was a good investment even though it starts to lose and become a bad investment, right? Because the market is always changing. It doesn't uh, go in the same direction, right? So a good trade might end up being a bad trade. So you need to understand that, right? So pride is a signal that keeps a trader in a losing position and willing to admit that they are wrong. A trader with too much pride won't even understand that there is a need for exit signals because they are blind to the possibility of being wrong. They simply do not accept it. Now, secondly, let's talk about hope. Hope is another dangerous signal used by traders. Some traders don't have valid reasons why they buy or sell into a trade. They just enter a trade and hope it goes in their way. But we cannot talk about these triggers without mentioning fear. Fear is one of the internal trade signals that completely undermine a trader's ability to be profitable. Now, there are two ways to be profitable. One, have more wins than your losses. Or second, have big wins and small losses. That is it. That is the big secret to being a profitable trader. A high winning percentage system should have both wins and losses equal in size to make your system profitable. Having big wins and small losses can even allow a small winning percentage system to make money, provided that there are wins large enough to cover up all the losses. Now, losses encountered from hedging style of trading will make you unprofitable regardless of either having big wins or a high winning rate because you end up giving back all your profits from your winning trades and eventually that will destroy your trading capital. In other words, that will blow your account. That will lead to the blowing of your trading account. Fear can signal a trader to take small profits out of the markets before they disappear, making it difficult to have big wins, right? So that will make it difficult for a trader to hold those trades, let your wins run and cutting your losses short. You know, this is all because of fear. You must exit a trade based on your trailing stops, a take profits or because of the price changing the trend rather than to give into your fears. Fear can also make a trader miss a valid trading signal because they are afraid of losing money. Let's move on to greed. Now, greed can make you believe in your entry signals too much. And often you want to trade with too much position sizing, meaning big loss sizes, even where it's not applicable. Greed is confidence gone wrong, right? Confidence completely gone wrong. Each trade signal you use should be designed to put the odds in your favor. And even a great signal is not a guaranteed win. Greed can also blind a trader from taking profits off the table when, when their profit targets are reached. The greed for gains after risk to reward ratio has been skewed against the initial entry can lead to losses uh, when a trend reverses. One of the most expensive things that a trader can do is to not take the profits at the targets where the market starts to reverse. Greed will want you to trade, buy and stay in the winning trades forever. Your trading plan has to override your greed. Control position sizing, control your load sizes, and have a strategy to take your profits when they are available. One of the cornerstones of my teaching is that emotions are terrible trading signals, very much terrible trading signals. Emotions wants to buy Nasdaq at the beginning of the market correction and bear markets instead of waiting for the market to find those key support levels on the charts. Your trading success will be largely based on your ability to approach the markets in a systematic way using a trading plan to utilize profitable buy and sell signals that fit with your market beliefs. You need a good external guide that you will follow regardless of your market beliefs, what your emotions are telling you to do. Trade your signals. Do not trade your feelings, opinions, or emotions. Your buy and sell signals are only a third of your trading. You must have discipline enough to take your signals when they are triggered and risk a small amount of your total trading account capital on a single trade, meaning you should follow proper risk management. No trading system will be profitable if it is not trading with discipline and the right position size that follows risk management. The key elements that you should partner your buy and sell signals with are your position sizing and your risk management principles. You must have an equity curve that can survive. Part of taking entry signals will be position sizing correctly to avoid any large losses. 
no trading too big will give you an urge over those traders that actually go all in on every single trade right which means which probably means that they are blowing every single time they do that more than they are winning simply because they have small accounts position sizing will help you to determine your long-term success if risking one percent seems too small it is likely that your trading account is also too small way too small your trade signals will be risking a small amount trying to make a large amount whenever money or capital is in play trust me people tend to make matters rather personal right because of the inevitable consequence of the hope that comes along with the promise of significant returns people will strive to make money while at the same time trying to avoid circumstances that may cause them to lose their capital the mindset is one of the leading obstacles to the progress and eventual success of a trading journey you need to realize that every trade has its ups and downs do not develop a sense of greed or lust for profits. No setup, no trade. Let me repeat that. No setup, no trade. Do not force trades or try to trade anything to make a small profit. It will only lead you to gambling and that is not the right way to be trading. Trading requires a logical mindset on your part. When you make losses for the day, do not revenge trade. Sit back and relax. There will be days where you make a lot of profit after profit. You know, have your winning streak. It is very much possible. Learn when to stop instead of wanting more returns. Do not let your mind play tricks with you, making you take high risk trades for quick profits. Patience is a crucial trade to have when you take part in trading due to the upswings and downward trends. It can become challenging to identify the right entry or exit point for a particular trading opportunity. Patience demands that you pay attention to the strategy and ignore any distractions when trading. Self-confidence is also important. If you lack confidence, then it would show in your trades. Without confidence, you most likely won't trust and follow something that you have, that you have developed. Successful trading is all about decision making, but because of money and natural instincts that, that we have as people, we cannot really remove our emotions from decision making process. You also need to be disciplined with your decision making and focusing on the right areas. There are traders who tend to shed much of their energy thinking about the wrong things. What the market does to you is not important. It is not that important at all. You may lose or profit today, but what is important is how you react to the market. Trading psychology is the change of mindset, right? The change of emotions, the change of perception, and thus the change of your behavior when pursuing an active live trades, right? As opposed to trading your demo account. Trading one's own money adds a psychological element. So when you're trading your real money, there is a psychology element that is added. Emotions such as indecision, fear, and greed, which normally do not come into play during the training process when you are playing around with your demo accounts, crop into us when one begins to trade with actual money. Learning how to manage these psychological elements will allow you to retain a clear, a clearer head and make better trading decisions rather than having trading decisions that are influenced with your emotions. It is easy to make decisions trading on a demo account, but once you go to a live account, it's harder. You will never lose out, so never go all in. It is important to reduce your stress levels and manage your emotions while trading. Focus on educating yourself and keeping up to date with, with the most effective trading strategies as much as possible. Developing confidence in your real-time trading skills and abilities doesn't come overnight, right? It's a process and it takes time. You just need to be patient and be willing to go through the process and trust the process. Now, keep in mind that forest trading can be learned by anyone, yet 90% of traders lose and most don't fail because they cannot learn the skill, but rather because they simply cannot get the right mindset for it. Forest trading requires a different mindset to succeed. Trading discipline is often seen as the key to success, and trust me, it is the key to success in trading. The reason you need it the most is because you must write out inevitable periods of losses and keep executing your trading signals until you hit profits again whilst following your strategies, right? Keeping to your strategy without changing anything, following your rules and everything. Your financial future is in your hands. No one else can make your money. That is something that you need to remind yourself always. You are responsible for your failures or your success. And your success is very much possible as long as you follow the, all the concepts that are being taught in this course. In Forex, the only way to win is to be on your own and stay away from the crowd. They are losing. Leave your ego behind and accept that you will lose it sometimes, right? Sometimes you will face those losses. It doesn't mean that you are failing. It's just trading in reality is part of trading right losing is part of trading is part of the game do not get excited over profits and angry over losses right 
traders are always trying to use technology to beat the market and all the time we see complex theories that are supposed to beat simple ones but it doesn't help it doesn't help at all despite all these advances we have seen over the years the ratio of winners and losers remain the same learning to trade forex is easy but developing the right mindset is the hard part everyone lose concentration once in a while that's because we are all humans with feelings you have to immediately switch back to your focus mode as soon as you encounter a distraction. Developing a proper trading mindset is a must for you to become a profitable trader. It is a must for your trading success, though it can take some time. This is not an area where you can take shortcuts. You develop the trader's mind from actually trading and the experiences that you gain from trading and actually taking action, right? So the trader's mindset can help you handle drawdowns, losses, and even the profits. A winning strategy is worthless in the hands of a trader that is filled with fear and emotions. Many forex trading systems out there are sold without any regard to dealing with fear and emotions that come along with trading in the markets. So to promote a forex trading strategy without teaching basic concepts of psychology is simply saying we don't care if you make it or not. You have the strategy now go out there and be part of the 90 percent which of course is the losing majority now we usually make most of our money decisions with emotions like greed nervousness and fear to be able to focus on your long-term investment plan here's a simple trick do not check your account on a daily basis you don't need the stress of constantly checking it you need to practice the tricks this course shows you about trading simply implement them and see the change in your trading and become a profitable trader in trading our reaction to the market is more important than what happens in the markets knowing is just half of it taking action and implementing on what you have learned is the other half to succeed so that's it for this lesson i hope you understood everything and every single concept uh, on this internal signals was clear enough for you to understand it and implement it in your trading so in the next lesson we're now going to cover more tips that you need in order to have that a profitable traders mindset so let's dive straight into it